check out the size of this box. Today I am looking at this 8,000 pound trailer jack. So this is a tongue jack for a trailer and it's got all the fun stuff. This is a manual jack. I didn't want an electric jack. This one's a manual one that has a drop leg and everything. And I have very specific purposes for this. Now I was sent this at no cost so I can do this review, but let's get this thing out of the box, check this thing all out and then get it ready to put on the trailer. So this is it out of the box. And this is the reason I wanna use this. First thing, it's manual. I don't wanna to have to mess with electric to try to do this. And I honestly don't need it. These manual jacks that are crank style like this on the side, so much easier than trying to spin it on the top. I love these side crank styles like this. As long as you have enough room for this to spin, these are very easy to lift and lower these. Now, it also has this lube section here. You wanna be able to lube this. Keep it oiled so that way it stays very nice and easy. And this allows you to do that. This supports 8,000 pounds, but it is a 7,000 pound lift jack. Now I'm not gonna be getting anywhere near that capacity with this, but it's awesome that it has it. So this would be really good if you have a pretty big RV or some really heavy trailer, you've got the support that you need here. Again, I'm not gonna be using it for that heavy, but I do love the fact that it can handle it. And that is because it is a very stout built jack. Now, I know it's a direct weld, which means you're gonna be welding it probably on this side right here. That's probably gonna be the easiest for you to weld. It's meant to be welded back here, but you know, sometimes you gotta get creative on what you're doing. But this one is already powder coated. So even though you're probably gonna grind it where you're gonna weld it, it's the best way to do it, you already have the powder coat protection here. So when you come back and spray over your welds, you don't have to spray this whole thing down. It's not just some, you know, raw metal jack. It's, it's ready to go. It does have the drop leg. And this is super important to me because I cannot stand carrying around, you know, spacers or anything like that. And I don't want to have to jack this thing all the way up and all the way down every time I need to lower and lift it. So what you do is you pull this pin here, which it has this nice, you know, clasp on it right here. And then you pull the pin out real simple to do. That way you don't lose your clamp. Then this thing will just move in and out. And it's got a lot of adjustability. This has a really nice tall drop leg. So the key here is you've got this huge plate here to set it on, so you shouldn't have too much sinkage. Maybe if you're putting it in the mud, you might wanna put something underneath it. But other than that, this size leg, I would drop this in gravel, in the driveway, or even out in the yard without having any worries. So nice big plate. And the fact that this thing moves in and out, you basically drop it down to where you need it, where it's just a little bit of jack that you need to do. You put the pin in it and then you jack it, right? So that way you've got all that extra drop there that you don't have to keep spinning this thing to get it down that far. When you're ready to go, lift this up just a little bit to get this pressure pulled off the jack. Then you pull the pin, slide your drop leg all the way back up, put your pin back in, and then finish lifting it up the way it needs to go to get it completely set. But these make lifting and setting and picking up a trailer so much easier than not having a drop leg. Enough talking about this. Let's go see how we're going to put this on the trailer. So I'm out here in my workshop and I'm lining up where I want to put this jack on this trailer. Like I said, this is a direct weld on jack. So I'm going to be welding it to the tongue of the trailer. So I want to make sure that it's exactly how I want it, where I want it, before I start putting in those beads. I'm looking at this, I'm gonna do some measurements, but this is a good time for me to be able to show you the extra features or functionality that this jack has. So like I showed before, it's got a drop leg. So what you do is you pull the pin out and then you drop this leg down, you know, as far as you want it really. The key with a drop leg though, is to never drop it all the way down to where you know, maybe it fits perfectly. There's a hole there perfectly. I always go one hole up because you need a little bit of playroom when you're lowering and, and lifting a jack. You never know if it's gonna sink in the ground or if something's gonna shift. If you have something in the bed of your truck and your tailgate is lower, you need to be able to have some adjustment. 
Now I can just drop this leg down and I don't have to sit here and wind this for this distance. I only have to wind it now for this distance. And then it's easy. I mean, it's not hard to do. You just come over here. This is to put it up. This is to put it down. Super easy to wind. I'm not gonna put any load on it because I still just have it clamped on there. But it, it moves kind of slow for a reason because that gives you a ton of leverage to be able to use this and still not have to put that much effort into lifting it and lowering it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It's got everything in it that I was looking for. It's gonna work great. So I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.